Hey friends, I'm here in Sacramento for the weekend and I thought I'd visit some friends and they're introducing me to this cidery back here. As you know, Sacramento is well known for being the fruit basket of California and among one of its most famous crops is the apple. So if you've got apples, you might as well make some cider. Two Rivers is this little oasis tucked into this mixed residential and industrial area where there are auto shops all around. Actually, these brew houses have become quite popular here in Sacramento. Two Rivers was started about 20 years ago by Vince Stern when ciders and microbrews were not in vogue. The tasting room opened in 2016 and became a neighborhood watering hole for people to spend a relaxing afternoon together. So I was introduced to this place by my friend Brenda. Say hi, Brenda. And her husband, David. Hey, what's up? So, David, you found this place, right? Yeah, I did, yeah. What was the story behind that? So, um, I was dropping off our car for service at Mercedes, and on the way back on the shuttle, this guy, his name is Jethro, I'm sitting next to him, and he's hilarious. And on the way back, he drops us off right outside. And uh, he's like, yeah, we make cider. We've got all these different kinds. It's awesome. We should bring your wife. It'll be a great time. And I looked around and it just looked OK. But we came back because we love cider, and it was off the hook. <laughs> and then the vibe is fun. It's just a yeah, fun, it's like, really it's a good very place. chill place. And we don't really drink mm. beer, so cider's yeah. a lot better. And it's like not very sweet. It's just it's so good. It's really we love good. it. They do a ton of experimenting and there's always 15 varieties on tap. Eight on the core list and seven rotating seasonally. None have added sugar to preserve the natural taste of the fruit. So I got a flight and it's eight bucks for four. And I got here ginger, guava, habanero, which Brenda up here says it's super spicy. It's like a slow burn. Okay. And this over here is the Macintosh. Yum, that ginger is really, really strong in this. And you could totally smell it, but it's not like overwhelming. So this is almost like a uh, ginger ale without the sugar and the uh, as much uh, carbonation and fizziness to it. All right, now I'm gonna try the guava. So this one has 8.3% alcohol content. Ooh, that is really yummy. So it's a little bit thicker. It's almost like there's really like guava juice in this. But again, the guava in it is not sweet. And so it's still very, very tart. There's kind of just this hint of guava in this. So this is the habanero. This is the one that David and Brenda says is super spicy. A slow burn, sorry, Brenda. Slow burn, right? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> so there's a little bit of the sourness from the habanero when you first drink it and then you feel a little of that burn in the back of your throat. I can see if I finish this one, for sure my mouth is going to be on fire. Fuego baby! Fuego! <laughs> Alright, the last is the Macintosh. I actually had a little sample of this earlier and it was delish. So out of all the ciders, this one's probably the sweetest. So if you like sweet ciders, get either this one um, or even potentially some of the fruit ciders. I saw that they had some fruit ciders up there that might also be uh, a little on the sweet side. Really, really yummy. So we're actually really close here in Sacramento to something called Apple Hill, and it's just outside of Sacramento, and it's really where they've all their apple orchards, and um, you can actually go up there and get all sorts of apple products. So Brenda, you were saying that uh, you can mix it? Oh yeah, so this is really good. You can mix it, like, even probably the Macintosh if you want to try it. You can more than one or two, but we just use it as a mixer for the other ones, and then you can get your own. It's so good. Instead of pools and darts, the entertainment is more wholesome. A Jenga challenge, anyone? Pull a block from the bottom and place it on top. The first person to topple the tower loses. Jenga! So David is going to test out this game that we're going to play. It's called Dribble. What do you do here? So you dribble this ball all the way down. So this thing is turn, and then you have, there's like... So fill my hands, I'm trying to get all the way down. It's just nuzzle it. see how far I'm going? I try to get to that bone. Uh, all right, so there's points here. Yeah. You go all the way up to 75. You're the little, there you go. Good. Let's see. Okay. All right. Ah! Ah! Oh! 
Try two. Oh. <laughs> Try three. Yeah. And I know you hate sitting in this seat. Tell me why. <laughs> so there's just one scene in the house. You kind of discover it just, you know, just by being here. If you look right over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> get a little creeped out sometimes. Have a couple of ciders. You look up. <laughs> Outside is a cozy patio for hanging. For dinner, there's some yummy pupusas here. Cooking it right here. Papusas originate from El Salvador and it's like a tamale. The outside is a corn masa with cheese and sometimes meat inside. It's typically eaten with a spicy cabbage slaw called a curdito on top and other spicy condiments like pickled vegetables, tomato salsa, and hot sauce. I'm gonna start first with this red cabbage garnish. <laughs> Very crunchy. That's nice. It's just a little bit tart, but not too much. And of course, you can get your traditional pickled carrots and uh, jalapeno. Ooh, spicy. These garnishes are all hold made, by the way. And then we're gonna put a little bit of this banana pepper on the pupusa here. Mmm. That's very yummy. This pupusa is very fresh. So here's a little bit of the filling in here, which is I think some sort of a cheese. The only critique I might give is put a little bit more cheese inside. In Schilling's space shot, get the marble impossibly to the top. So just, just rewind that. Just rewind that. Rewind that. No big deal. Cornhole is much easier and much more my speed. David and I head in to fill up their growler, a special to-go container to preserve cider carbonation. 64 ounces of cold strawberry jam cider for home. Before we head out, we say adieu to all the regulars, including the four-legged furry ones. I've had such an awesome time chilling and relaxing at Two Rivers. Oh, and check for Saturday events with food trucks and live music. What more could you ask for? Good food, good cider, and plenty of friends around to play games with. The next time you're down here in Sacramento, check out Two Rivers. Until next time, peace. Uh, so David was just telling me <laughs> that my logo looked yeah. just like, what is it called? It's Nyan Cat. <laughs> so. Zine, when it begins, it just sounds like the music is kind of spot on, and the whole logo, you know, your head's like bouncing around. Yeah, with the rainbow behind with it. With the rainbow behind it. Anyone that's known Nine Cat is, this is Nine Cat. This is a quick picture Nine Cat. Do a quick Google and just go to that original. Go ahead and play it. And this is Nine Cat, guys. If you've never been sent a Nine Cat, well, I'm so sorry, but go ahead and Google that and enjoy yourself. <laughs>